like Chinese, Indian, but I still only know English and Malay. Um, I only know so, some words in Dutch, which is like uh, Dankewel, which is thank you, or food, anything to do with food. <laughs> Fries and peanut sauce is like fritz and pinda sauce. <laughs> right, that's about it. In Amsterdam, everyone speaks perfect English, so they all want to practice their English all the time. So even if you, yeah, even if you try to speak it, they just go, they just laugh, and then they'll just start speaking in English. Rami, Ashur's Molly Crosscut backhand I think everybody would yeah, want to have, a lot, yeah, exactly. have that shot in the bag. Like anytime if you have that opening you just play it and it just works all the time. Or even with the guys as well. So maybe I'll I'll try and see if I can get a few pointers when I see him the next time. I want to see the Egyptian players when, with their holes and flicks and chips. So I think that's just an it's just very natural, but they still practice it a lot. So, friendly when they were five years old or even three years old, if they get the whole of records. So, do you try practicing it pretty much? You try, but you can do as much as you can. But it, when it's just instinctly in their blood, it's harder to like emulate it when you are in a pressure situation. And so, sure, yeah. yeah. Usually, after a, a, a big win, I just have my friends and my family, and I we just actually eat a lot. You know, I all this all my favorite food that I miss and we just have a big feast and uh, you know maybe we yeah, meet up for drinks afterwards to some people. Uh, well Malaysian food definitely. Um, if I'm back in Malaysia I'll probably have to say I'll go for anything that's with chili, like make it spicy. Um, seafood. Uh, my favorite is like the chakwe tiao if I go back to Penang. Question before, but I, I have no idea. Like, um, someone said Scarlett Johansson. Oh, I'm like, that is, on. I don't think that works because they're so out of my league. But, no, but I have no idea. Um, I think maybe someone who's 40. Like, the closest I would think maybe like Jessica Alba or someone. Mm, uh, no bad. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't. But I. Am I thinking? If I wish I could have the same like body type. <laughs> but I don't think that's gonna we'll happen. There, right? Yeah, we'll get there we'll eventually. Ah, <laughs> uh, my favorite place actually is Hong Kong for just the venue itself. The glass court's right on the harbour front, and you got like the skyline of Hong Kong right behind the glass court, and it's just a good memory for me when winning my first worlds there and uh, a lot of history there and also the Cayman Islands with the, the glass cots by the waterfront and as well. <laughs> it's something to do with water <laughs> that I like. Uh, I think it's being an islander I guess. <laughs> but it's uh, it's a great uh, event and uh, winning the worlds there as well was just spectacular. One day, maybe you see it in a glass court in an Olympic city. You know, <laughs> I think all the I think all the players have said that. But yeah. um, no, I think there's so many venues that you can put it on. Like um, we we just hope that the I mean, it's just easy to assemble, and any landmark that you can find, we just place it there. Yeah. It just looks spectacular. Well, all of them are pretty pretty good. So I think um, at the moment I can bring in. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm trying to think. It's quite, quite tricky. Well, I have to go with the top, the top players. So you got like I think now Rami is looking very fit now. So I think he's one on top of the list. Um, you got I think the former players like Terry Linko. He was a really powerful player and um, nice to watch. <laughs> and um, mm, uh, very hard. I think I, I can give you. That much so far. I'll, I'll go like Ong Beng Yi. Ong Beng Yi? like oh, my local, you know? Yeah, he sets them up for the Malaysians out there. Yep. Uh, I don't have many skills, but I do like uh, drawing and um, and just doodling really. And I've started drawing a bit more, so that's quite fun. And I picked up a bit of glass blowing, so that was actually quite exciting. And just have like working with glass is just yeah something that you just never get every anywhere else. So in Holland you have all these extra things. You just around culture and around art all the time. Yeah, a bit of street dance. So, yeah. Show some moves maybe. No, I don't have many. Uh, I need music, but I can't really play that music in my head right now. <laughs>
Uh, it's not much, it's just like all simple steps. It's really basic. So how do you do the first ones you have to really like do the bob. Okay. And then bob. And then bob. But then that's and then after that you start doing, you start going with the hands like but I don't I don't care. this is it. The hand movement? There's no hand movement. And then you go like okay. and then you go like um I think that's about it. And then, and then it keeps, and then you just keep adding up. But I'm still working on the basics, so don't learn those moves. <laughs> Thank you.